Hey guys, how are you going? And oh, welcome to another Cricket 22 video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Cricket 22 Steam achievements. Now, these will pretty much be the same as what you see on the console for the trophies. I had a look at the Cricket 19 ones and uh, looked at the Steam and console, and they look pretty much the same. Now, for here, we've got 30 different achievements. There might be some that are hidden that would be unlocked as you play the game. Not too sure about that, but for now, I've got 30 to go through, and some of them have uh, caught my eye. So let's take a look. So let's get down to the list here. First up, go fetch, hit a six into the crowd, pretty easy. Perfection, bowl the ball, the perfect timing, another easy one. Uh, this one has caught my eye. Take the call, finish your first call with your manager in career mode. Now in Cricket 19, we did have Tony Simpson for the recruitment stuff. He wasn't really a manager though, so we're hoping, well I'm hoping, that in Cricket 22, the manager has a larger role to play. Next up, we have Called It. Call a coin toss correctly. Well traveled, play a match in three different countries, any mode. Incoming, make a throw using the direct hit throw mechanic, which we've seen in the video last week. Bring the boom, play a match in the Big Bash League, or Women's Big Bash League. Uh, pressed for answers, face a press conference in career mode. So it looks like we are definitely getting press conferences in career mode and uh, it's exciting times, adding to the realism of a career. Pretty excited to see what uh, sort of what press conferences are like pretty much. Hopefully they don't have the same regurgitated uh, lines after every game, but it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Next up we've got Gym Junkie, complete five training sessions in the gym. Now what the gym will do, we don't know yet. Hopefully it adds to our stats, uh, maybe like the physical stats, strength, uh, speed and that sort of stuff. But it'll uh, be interesting to see what uh, what comes of that one. Uh, this is Cricket. Complete the first time player tutorial. My job here is done. Win a match in career mode without the career player batting or bowling. That's another one that seems interesting. Unbeatable. Win 10 matches in a row. Go your own way. Play a match in com custom competition. These ones are fairly simple. Uh, next up, domesticated. Debut in domestic level cricket in career mode. Of course, so once you make your first class debut, you'll get that one. Here we have League Legends. Win the tournament trophy playing as a team in the BBL, WBBL, 100 or CPL 20 modes. Next up, successful campaign. Win the men's or women's Ashes in Ashes mode. Cap in hand. Reach international level in career mode. Uh, season performer. Be top of any individual performance leaderboard at the end of a T20 league tournament in career. So that's interesting. We might get some sort of... Uh, reward if we finish top run scorer or wicket taker in the tournament that we might be able to get some extra points or something not too sure but we've got an achievement there so that's promising uh, next up stocking the shelves have five different trophies awards in the career trophy cabinet now this is something that has definitely caught my eye something that i've wanted in uh, cricket games since ea cricket i think um used to do it is having a trophy cabinet and now in career mode if we win a trophy it looks like it's going to go straight into the uh, trophy cabinet so it's exciting to see when we uh, finish a career. It'll be cool to see back, uh, have a look at the trophy cabinet and see what trophies that your career player have won. Next up, settle the score. Score the winning runs in a test match in career mode. Check this out. Get awarded the check for being player of the match in career mode. Okay. So you've seen some games when you uh, do be, uh, get player of the game, you do get a, uh, a check and a little trophy. So it looks like they've stepped up their presentation game here. Whereas if you get a player of the match award, you get a check. It's probably more for the first class international type stuff. Maybe the 2020 tournaments. I wonder if this check will, will like mean anything. Will we get any like cash out of it which we can apply to skills or like equipment or something? We don't know about that yet. But it's exciting to see that you get some sort of uh, award. And uh, the presentation looks like it's been, uh, it's gone a step up. Catch 22. Take 22 catches in any career mode. Nice. Leave it to me, get all 10 wickets in innings with a single bowler, any mode. That one I feel like would be pretty tough to do. Next up, another one that's definitely caught my eye here, sponsored content. Get your first sponsor in career mode. So there we go, sponsorships are in Cricket 22. Now, bloody exciting stuff. In Cricket 19, I had to add my own sponsors in to try and uh, up the realism factor. But it looks like here, I don't know if they'll be like uh, real sponsors like Granicles, Kookaburra, etc. Or if they're going to be fake ones like what you... I think in uh, Australian or AO Tennis, I think you get sponsorships, but I don't know if they're real ones or not. So it might be something like that where you do have a sponsor, but it'll be a made up brand. To, um, depending on how well you play, you get a certain number of points or money, which you can then spend on either skills or equipment or something like that. But exciting to see that we do have some sponsored content in, uh, or sponsorships in uh, career mode. So the final six achievements, net benefit, complete five nets training sessions, carnival season, play a match in CPL mode, you can count on it, play a match in the 100 mode, Ashes cricketer, play a match in the Ashes mode, 
how to turn tables, dismiss a specialist bowler while bowling it with a specialist batter, and the last one, distance runner, score 500 runs running between wickets across all game modes. So there we have it, 30 achievements, there could be some hidden ones that we unlock later, there could be some others added, uh, not entirely sure, but there are a few that have definitely caught my eye, we'll go through those, we'll do a little recap. So the first one, take the call, finish with your, uh, finish your first call with your manager in career mode, awesome to see that we've got a manager, hopefully they do more than Tony Simpson in Cricket 19. And uh, the next one, which was intriguing, press answers, face a press conference in career mode. So finally going to get a bit more presentation uh, improvement there for career mode, which is good. Gym, uh, gym junkie, complete five training sessions in the gym. It'll be interesting to see what that entails once you actually do a gym session, what sort of stats go up. Uh, the next one that I was extremely keen for was the sponsored content. Get your first sponsor in career mode. Now, once again, not sure if, if it's real sponsorship or if it's just some made up brands, but nevertheless, having uh, a sponsored type uh, career mode is cool. Definitely something that was lacking in Cricket 19, on, in my opinion. Check this out was another one with the, hopefully the, the step up in the presentation after a game. Never really saw anything once you played the game. Like the only sort of thing you saw was the trophy being lifted after you won a series and even then that didn't work sometimes. So being able to potentially have a press conference and interviews after while uh, getting an oversized check, you know, all about it. And then the last one which I'm really keen on is that uh, stocking the shelves have five different trophies awards in the tr career trophy cabinet. It's uh, been waiting a long time to get a sort of a trophy cabinet just to show off uh, how decorated the player was during his career with those trophies in the cabinet. But yeah, it's the small things that make the game better, especially in career mode. And hopefully uh, it uh, just steps up the career mode compared to Cricket 19. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully having a look at this, some of these achievements have enlightened us as to what to expect in Cricket 22 career mode and the game itself. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below about which achievement uh, you like the best. But until then, take it easy.